It's not just the water you have to worry about when you get on the beach next, it's the sand as well. We are talking about the 2015 movie, The Sands. This one's directed by Isaac Gabeth. And uh, it's actually very reminiscent of an, a 1980 film called Blood Beach, which probably not many people have seen, to be fair, unless you are kind of a real B-movie fanatic. And in both of those movies, it essentially involves a creature that is living beneath the sand in our beaches and basically as soon as kind of people start to relax and kind of set foot on this beach it attacks so this particular movie focuses on a group of 20 somethings as they're kind of celebrating spring break and they have this big party on the beach and while they're there they kind of discover some kind of cocoon the next morning they wake up and there's a few, only a few of them left they just assume people have gone home but as it turns out that there's this creature who is basically devouring anyone who's going to set foot on this kind of this, the sandy areas in the beach and uh that's it, it's they, they're kind of having to develop a way to try and escape or kill this creature and that's pretty much all I'll tell you about this movie. Like I said, it's so reminiscent of the movie Blood Beach, I wonder if it's almost a remake of it. So, I actually have to say I really enjoyed this film. Um, it's, you know, it's not without its problems, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I found the, the premise uh, a real kind of interesting story. It really is literally set in one location, one kind of just small sandy beach area and that is it that is your location for this movie i would say if you've seen the, the creep show film and you've maybe seen the movie the raft which is kind of one of these sort of the shorts from the creep show film i think it might be creep show too actually uh it, it's kind of like that it's basically these people trapped and they have to find a way to kind of get away from this creature um so i have to say the central premise although very basic was intriguing to me. They don't waste any time with this movie. You get a little bit of character development in the beginning, but it kind of gets going straight away. And, and as we find out, as the plot kind of progresses, we find that there's more and more challenges. Uh, obviously, as, as the film presents itself to us, and the kind of the the number of survivors is slowly dwindling away. And I have to say, although the characters are some of them are, are somewhat unlikable, you are kind of rooting for them. You, you kind of you are kind of like, God damn, when one of them kind of gets killed and stuff like that. So I feel it did a good job of making what could have been somewhat unlikable characters, which kind of like a lot of these kind of uh, teen uh, spring break type films tend to do, actually make you somewhat care about the characters. And yeah, but the, the, the acting is fine, I would say, for this kind of movie. No, it's not kind of your Schindler's List style acting here. Let's be honest, but you weren't expecting it. But I it does a big, decent enough job here of, of, you know, selling you these characters and making you kind of root for them. Now, uh, like I said, I think it, I thought it was an intriguing plot. I thought it was well executed, well directed, and it had some kind of good characters in it. A couple of negatives, I would say. The CGI in this movie is extremely bad. Now, so if you're... If you're are a person that can kind of maybe not worry too much about the CGI effects then you'll kind of like this movie I feel. Uh, but the CGI effects are very noticeable. There are some I think that you can get away with. Basically the, the kind of creature itself when it first presents itself they're tiny little almost like tapeworms that come out of the sand and where they're quite small you can kind of get away the cgi you can think that's fine there are a couple of instances where people kind of lose limbs and things like that and they use a lot of cgi blood and then, then we, we sort of see the creature larger towards the end and that's where you'll kind of really the cgi might be some, a little bit jarring i can accept the fact that this is obviously a lower budget film and it kind of it, you know it can only do the best that it can with the budget so it didn't necessarily bother me but i would say if you if you are kind of like uh, put off by um sort of poor CGI then I will warn you about that. The other thing I would say is that I do sometimes question some of the decisions made by people or, or, or in action in some cases. So you know I guess you could again argue oh, they're panicked they're going to not make sometimes rational decisions uh, but there are there are a few things that I thought maybe seemed a little dumb in this film but overall I really enjoyed this film. This is, uh, this, is this is one I, I would probably watch again and enjoy so I would recommend this film if you like a good creature feature. Uh, you know, I think it's a good pace. It's, it's you know, a well-executed film for the budget that they had. I only give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me comments, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.